Hi guys, hope you're well. So today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to do a very random haul. So I'm just going to get cracking because I've got lots to show you. And apologies for my voice. I've not long sort of recovered from a batch of laryngitis. So that was nice. I'm just turning on the kitchen light for you. So, I think I'm going to go with this one because I want it back in the freezer ASAP. And it is probably the most random one. Um, but it sounded really, really good and perfect for around Thanksgiving. Uh, this is basically going to be quite a seasonal haul. Um, so this is Morrison's The Best Hand Finished Pumpkin and Cranberry Roast. So if you're vegetarian or vegan, this will be a perfect kind of Thanksgiving or Christmas alternative. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. I don't want, again, I don't want it defrosting, so I'm just going to bob it in the freezer. There we go. And the next one, I think I'm going to stick with food and then get on to the drinks. So the first one, perfect for exactly this time of year, it's Terry's Chocolate Orange, a classic. You can either get obviously the traditional orange, but I find it easier just to have these little mini slices. So yeah, always a good one. Can't go wrong with them. And then I spotted these <laughs> that I've never seen before up until this year. Usually I get the traditional chocolate sprouts or puddings, um, but these are chocolate turkeys, which a bit like with the pumpkin and cranberry roast, these could actually be potentially good for Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. Um, but here we have our turkey at Christmas so I just thought they were quite cute and then the next one as you can see I've got a couple of limited edition juices uh, from Morrison's I think pretty much a lot of these are from Morrison's bar maybe a couple but anyway so we've got the spiced red grape and pomegranate juice which I think is quite a nice evening drink especially if you don't drink alcohol um, it's quite a nice sort of almost a mulled wine alternative they do do some quite good alternatives um, Ribena usually bring back the winter spice and I have had a lovely winter berry cordial recently um, so there's definitely some lovely alternatives and I pray every year that m and bring out their mold winter warmer because that is amazing but anyway so this is great either hot or cold and then this one I find quite good for morning um, just because I don't know just the orange juice is quite a nice morningy drink so clementine blood orange and cranberry juice so e perfect for evening perfect for morning and then the twining spice ginger I've had before and I'm so looking forward to having again because it is really, really, what's the right word? Not potent, but just very, very flavoursome. I love it. And I think whilst I've still got, as you can hear, a little bit not quite right with the voice, it's getting there. Little teas like this work wonders this time of year especially ginger so looking forward to being reunited with that and speaking of teas i spotted these in either peacocks or m and co and it was in a three for two offer and these are just cute little teas that weirdly some of the flavors are not that festive there's the elf's got white tea and tropical fruits which 
I would personally have like in the summer but he is really cute and Father Christmas is a bit more Christmassy flavoured it's apple, rose hip and cinnamon and then the Christmas tree one's quite festive it's ginger and cranberry and then the reindeer has got chocolate, rubos and or rubos and vanilla so that could be quite potentially festive especially if you're drinking it with these um, and then the snowman is white tea, coconut and passion fruit which sounds interesting and it just says Christmas tree collection and every year J2O do a glitter berry flavour so if you're having like maybe a children's party and you want to get a couple of fun little things that the little ones can think they're joining in with the grown-ups <coughs> sorry <laughs> um, yeah they do a glitter berry and it's grape, cherry and spice flavour and when you shake it I don't know how well the camera will pick it up in fact probably not at all but I promise you when you shake it there is glitter inside so I thought that was cute and disclaimer we're now moving on to a little bit of alcohol so we've got the jammy red rue yellow tail and it's just got festive packaging so I was a sucker for it basically and Jammy Red Rue is probably my favourite red wine. I'm not a red wine drinker, really. Other than mulled wine around this time of year and maybe once in the summer, perhaps I'll have a sangria. But honestly, usually I don't usually opt for red wine. But this is quite a sweet one, so this is really nice. And, and the YouTubers, Joe Sugg and... Diane Buswell and um, they actually got me into this <laughs> um, but I was just a sucker for the red and white little packaging and then I spotted the other day this little festive Christmas ale and luckily not too strong and again just a sucker for Christmas packaging got reindeers in the sky and it's called Tinsel Toes and it says this festive brew is full of rich and spicy fruit flavours paired with a blend of roasted malts and hops creates a perfectly balanced Christmas treat a ruby ale that is ideal for those cold for those dark winter nights <laughs> There we go. And then this one I spotted, because I love obviously the traditional mulled wine, but this I don't think I've ever seen before. It's gingerbread mulled wine, basically. So I thought that sounded interesting. And again, it's got little gingerbread treats. So there we go, and the last one I thought would be perfect as maybe like a gift to come together. So if I split these, you'll know what I mean. There we go. So I reckon as a perfect gift, Bailey's do a limited edition tiramisu cocktail. If you're not a fan of tiramisu, don't get it. But if you know a friend or family member that likes Bailey's and likes the taste of coffee definitely get this partnered with chocolate truffles that are from the Bailey's brand so yeah I thought that was cute as well so there we go I know that was really random and again apologies for my voice 
and yes I have whacked out the Christmas jumper I am literally about to film a candle haul wearing this so you'll see it in hopefully a bit more in all its glory <laughs> um, in that video uh, so I hope you enjoyed this random little video if you did you know what to do give it a like and subscribe and I will see you literally in a few minutes with my candle haul love you lots bye